and those extra resources will help out state officials who have been preparing uh, for this next round of storms that are quickly approaching. Fox 40's Kristen Vartan showing us the statewide response to what's happened and what's yet to come. Approximately 54,000 plus people without power and unfortunately uh, two deaths that have so far been confirmed by the coroner's office to be uh, storm related. It's these recent extreme weather outcomes in California that led Governor Newsom to ask President Biden for a presidential emergency declaration yesterday. Today, as California prepares for another atmospheric river and thousands are under evacuation orders, President Biden granted that request. Now 34 counties already under the California governor's state of emergency will receive federal assistance to the state and local efforts underway. We've prepositioned fire resources, hand crews, uh, high water vehicles, uh, search and rescue teams. In preparation for today, tomorrow and the storm expected next week, it's all emergency crews hands on deck. This heavy warm rain combined with accumulated snowfall uh, is leading to uh, the risk of, of flooding, rock and mudslides in the uh, burn scar areas. It's why Caltrans crews have been working 12 hour days to clear debris, down trees and monitor bridges. Caltrans Chief Deputy Director Mike Kiever says their crews have plowed 3.5 million miles of roadway since snow season started. But they're asking civilians to do their part too, like checking quick maps for updated road conditions and heavy snowfall in the uh, higher elevations and over the passes, increasing the likelihood of road closures and avalanches. And so we're asking the public uh, to please limit non-essential travel during the peak of the storm. State leaders are asking residents to also heed evacuation warnings in their area. The state says they have 15 shelters open in nine counties and are on standby to open more with the American Red Cross. California Department of Social Services Kim Johnson points to other key resources like the Cal HHS's website where people can find a template for building their emergency plan. She says the emergencies can be a lot to take in. She points to peer counseling from Cal Hope and the state's emotional support line for older adults at 1-88-670-1360 for additional support. Please check on your neighbors. Connect with the older person in your life and others who might need additional assistance. We are simply stronger together. In Sacramento, covering local news that matters. Kristen Varton, Fox 40 News. And